When I was in school, we would have kids going, oh, you're only passing NCA because you're getting all these credits from your te reo Māori papers. As that kept going, it made me feel whakamā to tell people that I was doing well in, in my Māori papers or uh, to even speak Māori. And eventually it got to the point where it was like, I don't need to do Māori to pass. Out of spite, I guess. And that's how the disconnect from my Māori tanga started to happen. Keep your family close, don't let them see this go. They take your smile for weakness, that's how you turn. Kia ora. Hei uri tēnei, no Ngāti Ruanui, rongo whakāta, me Waikato, ko Wirihana Nikora tōku ingoa, aka Chase Woods. I'm a singer-songwriter from Te Papa Aioia, The Six, Palmerston North. I'm a kai waiata, a kai pao rānei rapper, and yeah, I've been doing this for four years now. Been making waiata reo Māori for two years. I tipu ake au i te reo Māori, uh, Māori ake nei tōku kitenga, Growing up in that, that little kākano, that seed, um, I think protected me for a while in Te Reo Māori. Kei konei mātou ki te kura tamatāne o Te Papua Ioia, back at my old school. Uh, and this is the last place that I feel like I excelled in Te Reo Māori. It just came easy to me. I was enjoying learning it. I was excelling through all the year levels. Until we kind of got exposed more to uh, Te Ao Pākehā. I had gotten so complacent with my reo that I had lost it. It just kind of snowballed into getting further and further away from my whakapapa, from my tipuna. And it was that feeling of whakama um, and mamai that I had when I was, when I was in that space. When I see people looking for their reo or their ao Māori, I encourage them to do it where they're comfortable. Te hunga e ki mi ana i tō rātou reo Māori, tō rātou ao Māori, ki mi hia te reina e pai ana ki ākoe. So find you the lane that suits you and pursue that. I've always loved rap. I've always written different pāo through wai te reo Māori. I've been able to reconnect with a lot of people, uh, especially from my hometown. Where my name comes from, Chase Woods, is from a saying that me and my brother would use, which is chasing giants. Um, that means to chase the people you look up to. And for me, Tawas was one of those giants. Nā nei whakātū mai te ara ki au. Tawas paves the way for a lot of us that are in this space at the moment, how to harness our superpower, which is real. The first time I worked with Chase was in Tāmaki Makaurau at Awānanga. I actually didn't know he could rap or he was into the music scene. We delve into, um, I guess, modern kind of beats and, and sounds, but trying to keep it within the Māori realm of kupu and whakaaro. I taku hukinga mai ki kone, uh, i tēnei mutunga wiki, coming back here this weekend, just reminded me that our tikanga and our reo is in a good place at the moment. These kids are allowed to be authentically Māori uh, and they have a safe space to do so. Things have changed so much. Uh, te reo Māori is trending through the hard mahi that uh, those that came before us have put in and it's opened up this massive space for Māori creatives to run free. With my year, he waiata whakamana, a i te iwi Māori. I hope that when Māori people hear this, they walk a little taller, speak a little louder, and know that you have your tūpuna behind you, your reo by your side. Ko rero tia, waipuke tia te whenua i te reo Māori, kia kore ai ngaru. Wairua pai i, ta tātou whai i te ara kia tai ai, ki te tau matā, te ako tia reo tātou tīpuna, kia rere noa te reo, kia ora ai ngā tikanga. Ko rero mai me, wairua pai i, ta tātou whai i te ara kia tai ai, ki te tau matā i whi ako tia reo tātou tīpuna.